them for the first time can be intimidating, especially when others are watching you perform when you have no idea what you are doing. Studies have shown that through improper form can lead to injury, which can hinder performance in the future. Therefore, having the knowledge of how to properly weight train will ensure your success at the gym and leave you less prone to injury. The three exercises that we will be covering in this video is squatting, deadlifting, and bench press. As we see here, his back is arched and he is not hinging at the hips. According to the author Spencer and Corey, thoracic kyphosis is where the thoracic spine is naturally slightly kyphotic. However, excessive rounding can be a prelude to injury. The indicator will often be seen in an athlete exhibiting lower back rounding also. Spencer and Corey continue to discuss that the lower back rounding as the lumbar spine moves from a neutral or slightly lordatic posture into a kyphotic position. This gives the appearance of a rounded lower back. In the squatting position, there can be curvature due to the natural curve in the spine. However, too much indicates a lack of flexibility and restriction on the person. Deadlifting, especially with heavier weight, can cause serious back injury, which results in recovery work that could last months. According to DeWitt, the proper way to deadlift is having the feet hip-wide or shoulder width apart. A wider stance is not only less efficient, it can also compromise the spine by rounding the shoulders. A flat back or neutral spine is the ideal goal of the conventional deadlift and is to perform a hip hinge movement. Lifters have a tendency to bend their knees too soon and squat on the way down. This not only returns you to the wrong position, it forces the bar away from you, putting pressure on your lower back. Bench press requires form like any other weight training exercise. However, it has to be done in the manner of the individual's strength. If the weight is too much, it can seriously injure the athlete because they are not able to support the weight, which can lead to the individuals pulling muscles or other injuries because of the way the bar may fall. According to Seidel and Zoroska, bench press should be done by lowering the barbell towards the chest and pressing it upwards until full elbow extension. The barbell must stop on the chest. The movement can be described as flexion and extension of the upper limbs and shoulder and elbow joints. Bench press injuries are the result of overload of one upper limb and incorrect technique.